guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So what we're actually going to be doing in this video is continuing uh, the mod overview series. So far we've done the interior as well as the full performance overview, but now we're going to be going over everything exterior. Now in this video, I'm going to mention a few things that I'm going to be doing in separate, uh, more dedicated videos like the lights, but I just want to go over everything uh, on the exterior of the car that I have done just so there is a full overview. Now I'm going to be doing this on the whim, so hopefully I remember everything i'm gonna do my best walk around the car and hopefully remember everything that i've done uh you know i've had the car for five years so there is a lot done to it believe it or not so i will do my best to try to remember now before i forget i did the roof in gloss black this is avery dennison i wrapped it myself it looks really really nice on lapis blue it's not over the top uh you know it doesn't stand out too much but i think it is a really really nice look I also wrapped the antenna back here as well. So as you can tell up front, I'm running the stock hood. I used to run a VIS racing uh, V2 carbon fiber hood, but I have since sold that, went back to stock. Then I picked up this full replacement carbon fiber hood scoop. It is by WRX Daily. Fitment is great, looks fantastic. I love the look of it. And I love that it gives some definition to the hood as opposed to the stock hood scoop that is the same color as the hood, obviously. And it adds some nice contrast and who doesn't love carbon fiber? Now working our way down, I have a lot of things done right in this area. So let's go over them. Now these are custom 2020 SDI headlights done by Lightworks. There'll be a separate video just on lights. I'm gonna go into full detail on those. Moving over to the right, we have a carbon fiber grill. This is by WRX Daily as well. Fitment is fantastic. Absolutely love the way this looks. It's really open, allows for better airflow, and I just prefer the look of that. I used to run uh, a JDM style OEM grill with the carbon trim, but I prefer this as well. Um, the badges that I'm running on the front and rear, I'll show you the rear in a little bit. Uh, they're by SMY Performance. They're just black with the white stars, um, and the actual badge mount is from Charge Speed. Now behind the grill, that is the lower class garage front chassis bar. I get a lot of questions on that very often. It's a pretty unique thing, uh, and I love the way it looks. So I always like that look with a pop of color behind the grill, and I think it looks really good. Um, the little badge, it's kind of hard to see, but that is by GCS. It is just a gloss black STI badge. I used to not run it at all, but I decided to put a nice little gloss black one there to kind of tie it in nicely and uh, for something that's very subtle, but when you look for it, it's there. Now, if you guys were not aware, this is a 2017 STI, but I am running the 2018 plus front bumper. I did a full 2018 plus uh, front bumper conversion, which I'm sure you guys have seen. I've done videos on that. This is an OEM bumper painted from the factory lapis blue uh, and I'm running a few things on it. Down here I'm running the Subi Speed S4 JDM style fog bezels with the daytime running light strip up there. They are in gloss black so really really nice finish. I do not run the turn signal version. This is just the DRL version which I prefer. Down below is the Dio Dynamic SS3 Sport fog lights. I have them in yellow. It is my favorite fog light color. I always get yellow. I'm just a big JDM fanboy and I always prefer yellow fog lights. The performance on them are insane. Absolutely love them. Now below is a carbon fiber lift kit. It is all from eBay, believe it or not, but it is the CS style, so charge speed style. Love the look of it. It's not too over the top. I don't like big wings on the side or anything like that. This is my favorite kind of lip. I actually ran the same style in the Basin R, which was just the poly uh, black version, but I upgraded to the carbon and I absolutely love it. Now, moving over to the side, my most asked question is what wheels are these? Uh, these are Wedsport TC105Xs. The color is called Titan. The specs on them are 18 by 10 plus 35. I'm running a three millimeter spacer up front, not for clearance or anything. There's a ton of clearance with the spacer or not. I just added it just for a little bit more aggressive fitment up front. I'm running Michelin PS4S tires in 265, 35, 18. Love this setup so much. The wheels alone are 18.1 pounds each. I was absolutely able to tell a difference overall with the uh, rotational mass that I lost from going from the old wheels that I had, which were the Anki RS05RRs. Those were about 20 pounds each. So losing two pounds per wheel is a lot. Um, absolutely love these wheels. One of my favorites, nice and aggressive. Now behind the wheels, I am running a Rotora BBK, Rotora Big Brake Kit. Uh, they are six pot in the front. Four pots in the rear. They are forged aluminum calipers, so very, very light. The rotor size is 355 millimeter up front and 350 millimeters in the rear, so very, very big. The rears are actually bigger than the 2018 plus fronts. So that puts things into perspective just how big this brake kit is. Performance on these things are absolutely insane. Uh, a little bit overkill for my use for the street. I always wanted a big brake kit, and I'm really happy that I was able to do it on this car, and it looks really, really good in white on lapis. Now, a couple details 
on the wheels in this section behind there is the titanium works axle nut love that really nice touch especially if you're not running center caps like i do uh, the actual hub centric ring is by project kicks these are a two-piece lug nut set by project kicks as well really really nice this is a cap that comes off these caps actually come off and then the lug nut is actually underneath so they stay looking nice at all times they have the open-ended look but they're actually closed off in there so you don't have to worry about your studs resting out yes a minor mod but i figured i would mention it the wiper blades that i'm running are bosch icons they're my favorite kind of wiper uh, i always use them on all my cars i actually have them in my truck as well but i figured i would mention that since it is something that i did upgrade uh, from the stock wiper blades on the sides here this is just a gloss black emblem with the white sti logo it matches the calipers and everything else that i have white going on in the engine bay right on the side there is just some custom made by me i didn't buy it or anything i just had some vinyl laying around that i put in the inserts right here it makes it look more open a little bit more aggressive than just the normal body color it's a very small detail that makes a difference in the long run the side skirt extensions that i'm running same exact style as the front lip it is the cs style also known as charge speed i don't like the little wings that go up on the sides on a lot of the other options so this is always my favorite it is in carbon just like the front lip very very subtle but it adds a big difference on the side um, pokes out just enough doesn't look obnoxious looks very very factory fitment is fantastic absolutely love these uh, and they're holding up very very well mirrors you won't believe how much money i actually have in mirrors but i pretty much modified everything you can on the stock mirrors uh, but these are actually full replacements they're by carbon reproductions full carbon fiber replacement as opposed to just the caps that you stick on which i really prefer down here are the smoked sequential turn signals uh, by ijdm toy it is a drl as well so it lights up white when the car is on and then it turns over when you turn the blinker on to the amber uh, sequential turn signal really really nice touch especially coming from stock which you can hardly even see down at the bottom very very minor detail uh, but these are actually gloss black bottom caps right here adds a nice little touch to the mirror adds a little bit more class to it a little bit more uh, to it as opposed to just the basic flat black plastic that is normally on there now if we wrap around to the other side the mirrors are actually by olm these are the yellow convex mirrors by subi speed it reduces the amount of glare uh, from headlights and everything which is really nice especially at night and also it's a convex mirror so it's a little bit wider so you can see more on the driver's side right here is a little turn signal window i forget what they call it but uh, it allows the blinker to shine through as you're driving so you're able to see if it's on or not very very small detail again but it is a nice touch that adds to the overall detail and package of the entire car another question that i get asked often is what percent tint do i have on the car this is a 30 percent tint very minor i don't like really really dark tint i think under 30 percent looks a little too much for me plus i like to see at night and i think it looks classy when you do 30 percent since you're able to see inside and you can see the interior and it also offers some type of privacy as well so now that we kind of got the front and the sides done as well as the top let's move around to the back there is a lot done back here so let's start up top this is the subi speed roof spoiler not too aggressive it is in carbon fiber just like everything else fits really really nice i've had this thing on for about two almost three years now and it looks as good as the day i installed it i love the nice little touch it adds a little bit more aggression to the rear end uh, and it has a nice little bump out in the middle which actually flows really nice with this this is the subi speed gurney flap i love this thing adds some nice attention to the already enormous wing uh, but i love the way that looks on the back uh, adds a little bit more detail plus it's carbon and it looks really nice with the roof spoiler as well on the side here this is something that i recently did you guys saw me do a video on it this is the sti wing details by mach v motorsports it is in a matte black and the sti logos are actually cut out so whatever body color you do have it is going to show in that color uh, i thought it had a really nice touch it's not too in your face or, or too much i don't believe uh, and plus if you don't like it it's something that you can just remove plus on all of these subaru race cars if you look on the wings as well they have something very very similar so it's a little bit of a homage to the racing heritage of these cars another small detail that i often forget that i do every time i get gas i remember that i have done it but this is the subi speed or ol m gas cap cover it is anodized aluminum it goes right over the stock cap and it adds a nice little detail to an otherwise boring area i also have some titanium works uh hardware here as well which is obviously over the top but hey so is the entire car 
And uh, it's one of those small things that I enjoy anytime I open this up. Now, if we come around to the back, there is a decent amount done. The taillights, those are the Subi Speed V2 style. They are not the JDM style, which often look very similar, except when they're on. Uh, but I prefer the V2 style. I think it looks really, really nice, especially on lapis. Um, I have been through a couple different sets of taillights, and ultimately, this is my favorite set. I think it looks really clean, especially on my color. Now, as mentioned, the rear emblem is from SMY Performance as well as the gloss black ring. It's just a gloss black backing with the white stars. Up top is the OEM option STI trunk trim in carbon fiber. Really, really nice touch. I really wish it didn't say STI. I think that is a little too much, but it is what it is. Underneath that is the APR license plate garnish in carbon fiber. It was something that I was kind of up in the air on for many years, decided to pick it up, and I absolutely love it. Uh, the license plate frame is by Obsessed Garage. Uh, I used to run a carbon fiber one, but since I got the APR garnish piece, uh, I thought it was a little too much carbon. So I decided to go with something a little bit more simpler. Right here is a gloss black STI trunk badge. This is by GCS as well. It's the same exact style as the one that I'm running on the front grill. I normally debadge my entire car and I don't like when there's too much badging. There already is a lot here, 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 and up there as well. So I added something very subtle in gloss black it's not too in your face or anything like that the red is really nice but i like to be a little bit more incognito a little bit more subtle so i went with the gloss black on the sides these are the same exact style uh, the little spats right there well above that actually is the usdm spats these are an oem subaru option you can get them in any color that you want any color of your car they also have the jdm version but i prefer the usdm um, jdm goes up a little bit higher and actually wraps around to the little diffuser part i think the usdm looks a little bit cleaner underneath that is the CS style rear carbon spats. Same as the side skirt, same as the front lip. Uh, so it's a full CS style lip kit. Same exact thing, got them from eBay. Absolutely love them, they're holding up very well. I always prefer the CS style rear spats as well. Now, if we wrap around to underneath, around the exhaust is actually the OLM carbon fiber exhaust finishers, exhaust garnish, whatever you want to call it. It is in carbon, as I mentioned. You guys obviously know I'm running a titanium Tomei exhaust. Obviously that is a performance oriented modification, but it's there, so I figured I'd mention that. Right here is the third brake light uh, by IJDM Toy. Uh, I've been running this thing for, I don't know, four years now, and it has been perfect. It only lights up when I brake. I don't like running it when the lights are on, only one braking since it literally is a third brake light. So anytime I press the brake, it lights up. When the lights are on, it actually blinks three times. Uh, so it adds a little bit of security for anybody driving behind me. On this side, this is a Subi Speed exhaust cutout. So if you're running a single exit exhaust like I am, you're able to get this little block off plate. It gives it a nice finished look. Instead of leaving this whole side completely open, it looks a little unfinished. This diffuser is by Carbon Creations. Got it from eBay. It actually lowers the rear end as well. It is in carbon, as I mentioned, so everything flows really nicely. As for the paint care, I'm running G-Technic CSL, as well as XOV4 ceramic coating. Uh, that is what makes my paint look so nice and always look new. Makes car washing that much easier and it cleans up beautifully every single time. So yeah, that wraps up all the exterior modifications on my STI. As you guys were able to tell, it really wasn't that much. It was all stuff that was very, very doable, very simple. I really don't like going over the top of the exterior stuff. I only like to touch areas of the car that I feel need a little bit of attention and just kind of accent them, make them stand out just a little bit more, like the hood scoop, adding a little bit of carbon. It still looks OEM. It's nothing over the top or you know out of this world or hard to do. So these cars really don't need much to look good. Just wheels being low and just a few cosmetic stuff make these cars look way better. So yeah, that wraps up all the exterior modifications on my 2017 STI. I really don't plan on changing too much in the future. I'm really happy with how it looks. I may change up the wheels in the future, but for now, I'm really, really pleased with how everything turned out. Now, this is five years in the making. I spent a lot of time researching and uh, visioning this exact look. I'm really, really happy with how everything turned out. It is exactly what I had in mind when I, even before I actually got this car. So I couldn't be more happy happy. So if you guys have any questions at all about anything on the exterior of the car, anything that I mentioned, please answer them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to kind of expand upon more than I already did. There's going to be a few more overview videos with the suspension, the lights, and a couple other things as well. I'm trying to break it down as simple as possible. So if anybody is interested in anything specific on the interior, exterior wheels, whatever it may be, I'll have separate videos on that. But 
As for this one, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, any questions at all, ask them in the comments below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.